Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Caitlin and we are filming the monthly reset and reflect. Um, I feel like these videos always just creep up on me so fast and I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's the end of the month already. How does that happen? But alas, here we are. We are at the end of the month and I am here to reflect on August and prep for September. So let's get into it. So for August, if we can remember if you watched the previous video, um, but for August, I didn't really set a ton of goals for myself because I just wanted to enjoy the rest of the summer. And I really feel like I did enjoy the rest of the summer. So overall, I felt like the goals for August were just going to be very casual. Like I didn't meet a lot of them and that's okay. I still enjoyed the rest of my summer. So I'm not mad about it in the slightest. Um, but just going through because I did make some goals. Here they are. I had to move my body five times a week. I... Let's say it all together. Didn't do this. <laughs> I feel like I did it. I feel like I moved my body maybe three times a week, maybe four. So I didn't quite get to that five mark. Um, but yeah, but I still did move my body, I will say. Um, I wanted to take a photo every day and I was really good at this at the beginning of the month. And then honestly, I just kind of forgot and then I just dwindled off. So I definitely didn't do that. But I am getting better at taking photos more often. I really, really want to try and take photos more. So I'm hoping that I just keep, like I just have to keep it in my head that I want to be taking photos and just like keep pulling my camera out when I think about it. Um, I wanted to spend more hobby time. So more time with my hobbies, more reading, more puzzles, more coloring, whatever. And I do feel like I did this. Um, I read a lot this month. I didn't read a ton, but I did read a lot. Um, I got back into playing some games. I got back into coloring a little bit more um, and just like more little me hobbies. I feel like I'm really gonna get into this when the fall time comes and like winter um, because obviously we're just like in the house more and you just have more time kind of alone by yourself. So I feel like I'll definitely get into it. Um, inching up here into fall, but yeah, definitely did spend more time on my hobbies. Um, one day every weekend or a portion of a day every weekend spent outside and I did do this. So technically when I'm filming this, we still have one weekend left of August. Um, but we are planning on spending at least part of one day this weekend outside at the beach. So that will be exciting. Um, but yeah, I did that. I did. I spent at least one day or a half day outside enjoying the weather. So very, very happy about that and enjoying the last little bits of summer we still get good weather here I feel like right until like mid-September late September so I still have plenty of time to like spend time at the beach and go outside and enjoy being outside um but yeah definitely enjoy it I said no eating out we 1000% ate out at least at least like 10 times this month I want to say which I feel like we maybe we ate out a little bit less than we had been, but we really just need to kind of nip it in the butt. Um, yeah, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And for this one, we lost. <laughs> and again, I wanted to read every day for 30 minutes to an hour. Absolutely did not do this. Um, I was doing good at the beginning of the month. I will say we'll get into this when I talk about my books for the month. Um, but beginning of the month, I was doing really well with reading. And then I kind of got in a slump. I'm starting to get back out of it. But I definitely was in a slump for like the middle part of the month because the books that I read in the beginning were so good. Um, yeah, I just am a little bit in a slump and I definitely did not read that much every day. So those are my goals for August. That was literally it. That's all we had. Um, I like to normally reflect on the month, what went well, what didn't go well, um, what to work on for next month. I'm not really going to touch on this because I didn't really have any like big specific goals. Um, and I'll get into like next month's goals quickly because next month is just going to be a bit of a different month for us. So I'm actually not going to be setting any goals. So um, I'm not really going to do the reflection. Like, you know, I just, like I said, I just wanted to enjoy this last little, last little like month of summer. Yeah. So normally I do all my like favorites and stuff before I go into the next month's goals, but I'll just talk about them now. So Next month, September, I am not going to be setting any goals. 
um, because I'm just going to be enjoying life. I'm just going to be living life in September. So not going to set any goals. Take with that what you will. You guys are seeing this on Thursday. Stay tuned maybe to the podcast on Tuesday. Okay. Um, let's get into favorites. So I really wanted to dive into favorites because I knew that I wasn't really going to talk much about goals this month, um, like for this current month and leading into next month. So I'm like, okay, I really want to dive in. Like, what have I been loving? What have I really been like consuming, using, eating, shopping, whatever? I, I want to get into it. So here we go. Okay. So movies and TV series. I have been loving Big Brother this season. Austin and I have gotten back into watching Big Brother. I think I talked about this in my either a vlog or like my last reset. Um, but we've gotten back into watching Big Brother this season and we both have been obsessed. We've been loving it. The beginning of this season was insane. And it's kind of just like it's dwindled a little bit, I will say for me, but like we're still watching it and still enjoying it. So love Big Brother. Um, we also sorry, I like really have an itch on my upper lip. Oh, oh, gosh, now like my whole face is itchy. Oh my gosh, don't you hate when that happens? <laughs> oh my gosh. Why am I so itchy? This is bizarre. Okay. Okay, stop touching. <laughs> okay, now my face is gonna be so red because I've just like just scratched the heck out of it. Um, okay, so next we watched the Love Island reunion. So this is my opinions on the Love Island reunion. I didn't need it. I didn't want it. I think that the season of Love Island ended so perfectly. It was so just like, it was a great ending. I was so happy with who won. I was so happy with like the order that people won, everything. And then they went and they made this reunion and it was just so sad. And it was just like all this stuff that like, if you were following along with Love Island and like them in like social media after the fact it was like we we kind of knew everything that was going on and it was just like a little bit sad and like I don't know I just didn't love it I wasn't really impressed with it oh so, I don't know I don't really think I want to watch another Love Island reunion I feel like Love Island on its own perfect don't need a reunion and I saw I think I I thought I saw more than one movie but I guess I only saw one movie let me just double check oh okay technically okay so I went and saw a movie. So I ended up going and seeing It Ends With Us. Um, I thought it was really good. I feel like they did a good job at portraying the movie. Or sorry. They did a good job at portraying the book in the movie. I feel like you definitely want to know what you're going into before you go to the movie. I don't even know if it's still in the theaters or not. So I mean, if you like rent it or like whatever, stream it in the future. Um, I thought it was good though. I thought they did a good job at adaptation adapting adapting the book to the movie I don't know I got I feel like I, I'm just I get irritated with stuff like this because it's like I just wish that they wouldn't do all this crazy publicity that they try and do to like make the movie seem better than what it is or like seem different than what it is and then it's like you just get all this drama and it's like Blake Lively's not good at interviews and like the cast doesn't like each other and like all this stuff and it's like I wish that we would just stick to the fact that like it's just a book based on a movie and it's like very sensitive subjects and like it could be good for some people to go see and some people might not want to see it because it could be triggering point blank you know so anyways I don't know it feels weird even talking about it but I enjoyed it I would say if you were interested in going to see the movie if you read the book and you liked the book I would still recommend you to go see it. But again, look up what it's about, look up trigger warnings, all that kind of stuff. Other thing, so every month we've been trying with Austin's sister to do like a Disney movie weekend where she comes over for one night. We do a little bit of Disney planning and then we watch a Disney movie or, or two. Um, and this month we actually, I watched The Sword in the Stone for the first time. I have never seen Sword in the Stone before. This is the first time I had ever seen it, um, which like I guess is shocking because obviously like I'm a huge Disney fan and like I basically have seen most Disney movies. So um, it's cool that I got to see a movie that I haven't seen before. I will say I didn't love it. It's not my favorite Disney movie out there, but that's fine. I thought it was good. Um, the My favorite part was the little squirrels. When the little girl squirrel wanted to be with him, but he's like, I'm not a squirrel, I'm a boy. It was just so cute. 
that was literally my favorite part <laughs> of the movie. Okay, so moving into books, I read two books this month. One was an audiobook and one was a phys wasn't technically a physical book because it was on my Kobo, but you know, physical book, I read it. So first book was My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. Okay, this book, I am saying it right now, is my top read of the year. I thought this was just, I just need to read my review on it on Goodreads because I can't reiterate the way that I felt. Okay, I rated it five stars for one. Um, but I said, what an incredibly heart-wrenching and powerful book. <laughs> I can't even talk. Heart-wrenching and powerful, hello? What an incredibly heart-wrenching and powerful book. I will think about this for the rest of my life. So many moments stuck with me, mostly for the worst, but some for the better. This is not for everyone. There are insanely sensitive topics and graphic descriptions. However, I highly encourage and recommend people to read this no novel. Absolutely breathtaking. Obviously I can't speak, um, but no, it was an amazing book. So basically what this book is about, again, I'm trying to be better about like talking about what the actual like synopsis is. Basically what this book is about is it's about this girl and we follow her through two parts of her life. One, when she is a young girl and teenager and like growing up. Um, and then we also follow her as like an adult, a 30 year old, and she's kind of like reflecting on her childhood. And she's kind of like learning about what she went through, kind of like, not, not, not as herself, but like she's going through therapy, essentially about what she went through as a child. Um, and it's, it's crazy. It is a crazy, crazy book. Basically, as she's younger, she's going through her time in a boarding school-esque it's like a private school boarding school um and she essentially has an uh, I'm gonna use the quote terms lightly she has a relationship with um her teacher and it basically goes through this relationship and how she thinks as a 14 15 16 etc year old and then also when she's 30 looking back on this relationship um it's crazy I listened to this on audio and there were so many moments where I had to like uh, like I audibly was like <gasps> like I couldn't believe what was being told in this story but it was just so powerful and it's something that I really feel like is a great message for people to learn about and listen to and read um yeah, it was just very good. I highly recommend people to read it. Um, definitely look up trigger warnings though. Like it is, like I said in my like review, it's, there are moments that are graphic and it's like when you're like reading or listening to these moments happen and you know the ages of which like the girl is and how old the teacher is, it's just, it's, uncomfortable but sometimes you need to be put in uncomfortable situations to learn um like you as the reader um that like this is stuff that happens in real life and this is like you know things these things happen and it's just crazy it's crazy it's a crazy book wow I just slapped my leg <laughs> um it's a crazy book and the other thing like two other things about this so at the beginning of the book the author prefaces she says this isn't about her life. However, she has experienced these things in her past. So, you know, I'm not saying that she wrote this based on her life because she literally says it's not based on her life, but she has had experiences like this, like whatever. And she's going through and she's kind of sharing probably from like an outside perspective of what she possibly could have gone through in her childhood and growing up. Um, and then also for the audiobook. At the end, they actually have an interview with the author and the, um, oh my gosh, what's the word? Narrator for the novel. Um, and it's a beautiful interview. It feels like a podcast. It was about an hour long at the end of the book. And I loved it. I like listened to the whole thing and I was just, yeah, I was blown away. I really enjoyed listening to how the author thought, like, what she thought about as she was writing it. She literally said she started writing it when she was like 
15 or 16. So it's like interesting because the voice of the 14, 15, 16 year old, like it sounds so authentic, but it's authentic because she quite literally wrote it when she was those ages, which is just crazy. So, um, yeah, highly recommend. I really do feel like this is going to be my top read for the year. Um, so yeah, if you, if you haven't read it before, it's a few years old, but if you haven't read it before, I would definitely recommend looking into it and picking it up. Um, and then the second book that I read, the one I just recently finished was The Last Thing He Told Me. Oh my gosh, what's, who's the author? The Last Thing He Told Me by Laura Dave. So this one I actually was really impressed by. I ended up giving it four stars. Basically, this is about this um, guy and he goes missing and he basically leaves a note for his wife and it says protect her or something. Protect her at all costs or protect her or something along those lines. And he's inferring about his daughter. So it's this woman's stepdaughter. So basically it's them, the, the mother, like the mother, stepmother and the daughter trying to essentially find her husband, her dad, um, and find him and where he went and what happened to him. And it's kind of like a mystery. Well, it is a mystery. It's like a mystery. Um, there's a little bit of suspense in it. There's a little bit of like investigation. I don't know. It was really good. I thought it was great. It, hooks you right from the beginning. It doesn't take a while to get into like the meat and potatoes of the story. So I liked that aspect of it. Um, I didn't feel like I was like, okay, when is stuff going to start happening? It literally just starts happening right away. Um, but yeah, I thought it was good. So I'm glad that I ended up sticking with that one because that was one that I had heard mixed reviews on. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to read it or not, but I am glad I did. Um, and then the last book is the book that I'm currently reading right now, which obviously I'm not done it, but I do want to mention it because it is this month's book club book and it is, um, call me by, is it call me by your name? your name or my name call me by your name by andre ackman 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 i know i'm probably butchering that um i'm only about 15 percent in so i'm very fresh but that is the book for this month um so hopefully i finish it by august like the end of this month but if not it'll be like september 1st or september 2nd that i'm finished it by okay so those are the books that i had read this month for games, didn't really get into any new games, any old games. Us and I just really have been like playing cards. We went and visited my grandma this month and we of course were playing just like Euchre with my grandma and her husband and we played Wizard, which is like one of our other favorite card games. It's very similar to Euchre. So those are fun. Um, okay, random products. I have not shared products in so long, but I have to share this product with you guys. I honestly feel like I've shared this before, but at the same time, I feel like I haven't. So I wanted to put it in just in case I haven't, but if I have shared it before, obviously I use it and I love it. So I don't really share products a lot because I don't really go through many different products. I kind of just stick with what I know and what I like because one, it's expensive to constantly be buying new different things and trying different things if you don't know if you're gonna like them or not. So I am kind of a creature of habit. Um, but this body butter I have been using since, I wanna say last year, I feel like, so like over a year. Um, but this is the, what is it? Nutrius, Nutrius Brazilian Body Butter Cream. It's fused with, oh my gosh, I'm not even gonna pronounce these. Basically it's like a body butter with coconut oil, acai oil, and something extra. Okay, sorry, I had to pause because Austin's making ice cream downstairs. So the creamy was going and it was just very loud. So anyways, this is the body butter I've been using for just over a year now and I'm obsessed with this. This is basically like the knockoff of the um, Brazilian bum bum cream, I think, from, oh my gosh, it just smells so good. I tried it with, oh, so good. Um, but yeah, it's like the knockoff from Brazilian bum bum cream that you get at like Sephora. Um, but this is from Costco. So literally from Costco comes in a two pack, huge tubs. I mean, you can't really smell it, but just know it smells delicious and delightful and it is very moisturizing. I never feel greasy. Normally I don't like wearing body butters because I feel greasy, but this one I love. So that is quite literally my one random product that I have that I wanted to show you guys um and then okay now I'm gonna get into just like my other like random bits so 
First thing, coloring. Um, I had a few people message me and ask what coloring supplies that I use for when I color. I'll quickly go grab them. Okay, so I have just really one coloring book that I've been using recently, but it's the Bobby Goods coloring book. I ordered this, I want to say last fall, I think. So I've had it almost a year and I really just go through phases of when I want to color in it or not. Um, but I love them. I think they're so cute. The like pictures that you get to color are so cutesy. Love. Like just adorable. And I know these books are really hard to come by because she only really does like little drops of these coloring books and it's like you're just like fighting for your life to try and get one. Um, but I would still recommend trying if you're interested getting one of the authentic Bobby Goods ones because at the end of the day, she's a small business. It's literally just her. I mean, she obviously is like popular, very popular now. So um, she is like more than just herself now, but I would say still try and get one from her because again, it's a small business. She does all the drawings herself. She like creates these cute little characters that you get to color in. And I know you can get ones that are very similar on just like third party kind of websites, Amazon, Shein, all that kind of stuff. Um, but I would still recommend at least trying to get hers because they're just so cute. I will say though, shipping to Canada is insane. So I get you. I didn't get it shipped here. I got it shipped to my friend Claire and then she sent it to me because she also bought a book. So that is how I got it here because seriously, the shipping to Canada was insane when I purchased it. Maybe she's got it fixed now. Um, because like I said, that was almost like a year ago when I bought mine. Um, but yeah, so anyways uh and then the markers that i use these ones are literally just from amazon so when i do something when i go in for something i just kind of go all in so i definitely went overboard with the markers i did not need to buy this many markers when i did buy them um again i bought these about a year ago and they still work great so that is one good thing um but these are the what is it oh oh hoo hoo markers just from amazon I want to say this is the 120 pack. <laughs> it's insane. Um, but it comes like so and you have all your different colors. This is all you'd ever need, truly. Um, it is a lot, I will say. Like you don't need to get this like this big of a, you know, thing. But when I purchased them, I think I got them on some type of a sale because when I look at the prices now, I'm like, I definitely did not pay that much money for mine. Also, I will say when I got them, they were not this organized. I actually went through and organized them all in order of each of the different like um, swatch sheets because that's just how crazy I am. Um, but yeah, they were not nearly that organized when I got them. So I definitely went through and like reorganized them for like two hours, but I do really like these markers. So love those. But yeah, a couple people asked me like what stuff I use, like what my setup is for my coloring. So um, I just wanted to share. A random other favorite I've been loving are my Disney pins. So I've been very much in my Disney pin era right now. I have just been like itching to open mystery boxes and I've been itching to pin trade and just like do all the things. And I used to pin trade a lot online and I kind of have gotten out of it just because shipping gets expensive. It gets hard when you like want to trade but then it's like oh I have to like address the envelope and then go out to the post office and do the whole thing. I also recently have closed down my PO box because it was in the city that we were living in before and now that that's like not where we live it was just a hassle to go to the PO box and like check the PO box or whatever so like I was like I never really wanted to trade pins because I would normally get them sent there and I was like I don't want to have to go all the way over there to get my pins so I really haven't been trading but I have had just like such an itch for pins so I've really been just like reorganizing my pins here at home like my pin boards and then also kind of just going through my like trader book and reorganizing my traders that's just like I don't know I don't know why it's been a favorite but it has been so I figured I'd share it um because I've just been obsessed with pins and I just I can't wait to go to Disney and just be immersed in Disney pins <laughs> okay other favorite of course I don't have it on me right now but my Kobo so if you have followed the saga basically really wanted an e-reader got a kindle even though I knew that I couldn't get library books on my Kindle, I was like, oh, I'll just get Kindle Unlimited. It'll be fine. 
I got a Kindle, I got Kindle Unlimited. I started realizing how expensive Kindle Unlimited is when, you know, I'm only reading one or two books a month. Um, I wasn't really using it to its full extent or advantage. So, you know. And then, even though I, when I purchased the Kindle, I knew I couldn't get library books on it in Canada. I was like, oh, but I still want a Kindle, whatever. I'm like, I don't want a Kobo, I want a Kindle. It was very, I was very, I don't know why, but I was very brand name centric for the Kindle. So I didn't get a Kindle. Anyways, now that I'm a library book girly and I love renting my library books for like audiobooks, I was like, why am I not getting like physical, you know, eBooks? So I was like, I think I'm gonna change to a Kobo. And then I ended up talking to Austin's mom and she had a Kobo that she never used. So we said we would swap, which I still haven't actually given her my Kindle, <laughs> but it's not my house. I have to give it to her. Um, but she gave me her Kobo and I have been obsessed with it. I've used it so much more than I ever used my Kindle. Um, I just like been loving it. It's the Kobo Clara 2. It's the one that's not colored, um, but it has the buttons on the side, which I'm like, I don't really, I like if I was to purchase it on my own, I don't really think I would have gone for the buttons. Um, I like them, but they're not like, oh, you need to have the buttons. Um, but yeah, I love my Kobo. I literally, I read with it so much. It literally comes with me everywhere and I'm obsessed with it. And I'm so happy I can get library books on it. <laughs> so thank you, Dawn. The okay, other random favorite, I just wanted to kind of put this out there because I know a lot of people, maybe you're going back to school, maybe you're going back to work. I know a lot of people take September as like a time to kind of like have a new year type situation because that's normally when school starts again. So some people kind of take it as like their second new year. So anyways, you might be looking for new places to shop. Um, Abercrombie and Fitch. I love Abercrombie and Fitch. I just recently this year have gotten into shopping with them and I'm obsessed. Um, I feel like their style is so suitable for a mid slash late, gross, 20 year old. Um, and I just, I just love it. They have things that are cropped, but then they also have things that are longer and they have really, really good sizing. I feel like everything I have ordered from them, I have been happy with the size. Um, I literally do not think I have ordered one thing and I've been like, oh, this is not at all close to what my size should be. If anything, it, everything almost fits a little bit bigger than what I would expect it to, which I love. <laughs> so again, if you've never shopped at Abercrombie or if you've been hesitant to shop there or anything, I would recommend it, but wait till they have sales. They constantly have sales and they constantly have stackable codes. So for example, last weekend they had a sale, it was like 15% off or whatever. And then if you like, just look up on TikTok, just type in Abercrombie stackable codes and then filter for like recent TikToks, you will find a code that's like some random girl's name, AF and Abercrombie and Fitch. <laughs> It'll be like, Emma AF or whatever, and you just put it in and you get an extra 15% off. Always, I I swear by this, go on TikTok, type in stackable code Abercrombie and you will find another code and you'll be able to get more off than what is just like on the site. So highly recommend if you're interested in checking out Abercrombie, yes, check them out. I feel like you should and never buy full price, always buy on a sale. <laughs> okay. Whoa. What a deal you have there, You're honey. crazy. What a deal that was. You, you just scared me. You just let the people know about. Okay, sorry, Austin just scared me, but he brought me my ice cream. <laughs> so, time to wrap this up. But, last thing I want to talk about are my favorite creators. So, I always like to try and shout out some creators that I've been watching and loving in the month. Um, last month, I think I talked about how I literally have just been like watching our own Disney vlogs back. So, went through that phase, obviously love watching my own Disney vlogs back because it just brings back all the memories. But after I finished watching all those, I obviously went and gravitated towards all my other friends that are creators who make Disney vlogs. And this was the month to do it because quite literally all my friends have come back from Disney trips. So <laughs> first up, Brandon and Heidi, it's always sunny. Um, they just got back recently from Disneyland for the first time and they attended D23. So all their D23 vlogs are out and they're just starting to upload at Disneyland vlogs. They actually just uploaded their first one today as I'm filming this and Austin and I just watched it and it was 
marvelous. So have to plug them. Of course, if you're interested in Disneyland content, go check them out. Um, also my lovely friend, Brianna Tata, I'm sure all of you know who she is because why wouldn't you? Um, but she also just got back from Disney and they did her and Corey, her fiance, Corey, they just got back from a trip with Corey's sister and her boyfriend. So the four of them went, they did like a little bit of a family trip and I have just been loving watching those vlogs specifically because that is basically like the trip Austin and I are about to go on because we are going to go with Austin's sister for her first time ever at Disney. So I just feel like it's been fun watching that aspect of it because they just went on a little family trip and we're about to go on a family trip. So I'm really excited about that. And I love watching Brianna's vlogs to like help excite me for that. Um, and then also, um, this is a creator who I feel like I'm fairly new to her channel. So I definitely watched her videos for a while casually, but like recently I've actually like subscribed and like I've been like binge watching her stuff, um, but it's Katie Brown. So if you don't know Katie, she posts Disney videos and she posts lifestyle videos. She posts a lot of planner videos too, like digital planning, which I have tried so hard to get into digital planning and I just can't get into it, but I literally watch her videos and I'm like, you are making me want to try and digital plan again, even though I know it doesn't work for me, but she just does it so well. <laughs> so she does all those, but she also just got back from a Disney World trip as well. Um, and she went with, I think it's her sister and her mom. And that's like normally who she goes with. I feel like just from the, you know, the, the videos that I've seen, I don't know her. <laughs> I like chat with her here and there online, but I'm like, I don't know her, but I act like whatever. I'm acting like I know her. Anyways, <laughs> I'm rambling. She just got back from her trip with her mom and her sister and they stayed at the Polynesian right now. I can't remember. I don't think she did a split say. I think she's just at the Polynesian, um, but they just started uploading. She just started uploading those vlogs. So they have been just a pleasure to watch because I really enjoy her content as well. I feel like her content style is very similar to the style that I like to watch, which is very just like vibey and ambiancey. And she likes to show a lot of stuff. And like, she does kind of quick little check-ins here and there, but like, she just likes to show a lot, which is the stuff that I like to watch as well. So all these great creators, you definitely need to go check out if you haven't already. I feel like most of you guys honestly probably watch all these people anyways, but for the few of you that don't, here you go. <laughs> yeah, that is everything for this video. Like I said at the beginning, we're not doing any September. Um, um, we're not doing any September goals. You will find out very, very, very soon why. And I'm sure many of you know why. Um, but yeah, I will say definitely wait for this. So this is going up on Thursday. Next week, we will have a regular video on Monday, which will feature some very special friends. Um, and then on Tuesday, the podcast is coming out. And if you don't normally watch or listen to the podcast, I would highly recommend you to do so. And then I feel like you are going to be very excited about the content coming out on Thursday and the following content. So I will leave you with that. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you all so, 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 so much. And I'm just so grateful for all of you and you guys supporting me and being here in like this little community that we've made. I just love you all and appreciate you all so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.